Hi, it's Hazen. Welcome to my channel. A bit of a possibly a bit of a long video, but don't worry about it. Uh, you can put it on fast if you like. If you know how to do this, but if you want to just be inspired, you can put it on twice as fast. Just to, just to g me up a bit, actually. Um, so I'm just demonstrating what I've already done. This is the one I've done today. I show you. I taught you through that. I use effects, different effects as well, because I've got a little tool there that does these effects, and it shows you on the. This is one I, I, I explain what I've done on that one differently to what I've done on perhaps these and that one as well that's that's the one I'm copying basically on there so it's totally different <laughs> but I've basically copied that idea and then I've got things like this and I love let me have a look. that's like I think that looks a bit like a school but where's the effects I like that that's the effect but I like this one if you look on there this is the effects I show you how to do with this pen you go it does those around the edge and that's a rubber stamp so you can also do use rubber stamps if you if you don't want to draw I mean, that's fine i mean that's what i've done that's my own drawing I, I can't i can draw faces without copying but i couldn't draw a bird without copying <laughs> and that little birdie is, looks like hopefully looks like he's going to land on the tree um oh he's just about to peck something off it but uh, i did it slightly at a wrong angle i like this one as well when i've got these effects around here oh, that looks like a proper what a proper artist does that <laughs> <laughs> seen people do those <laughs> that's not finished really that's another one that looks like an arty arty one as well very arty you know <laughs> now there we go so that's that if you you know appreciate what i've done today please give me a thumbs up i would i would appreciate that very much and that does help my channel also if you help want to help my channel to grow as well please subscribe that would be absolutely amazing so if you've done that already thank you so much and i've also got a ko-fi account where i've got some free papers and um so I've got about how many free papers? About four, five, six, seven, about eight, nine, nine, I think, on there. Nine free papers, so you can use those. Um, I assume that you can adjust them to your size. They are A4. Um, you can, well, you can, I think, a can of mine as well. You can make them bigger or smaller. Okay, so let's go, and I'll, I'll shut up now. And don't forget, if, if you want to make it shorter, you can. You can make the video shorter by making me gabble. Okay, so let's go. Right then, so yes, I've been recording for six minutes and I didn't realise. <laughs> Good job I cut it out really. Right, okay, so what we're doing today is we've got a new, new watercolour pad, reduced to clear from a local art shop. So what we're doing today is I'm going to attempt to make some of these for you. These are, um, these will fit that way around on this paper, this is A4. So two lots of those, you will be able to fit them on. Um, and this is actual watercolour paper that I'm using actual watercolour paper for a change. Normally I use copy paper. I think thick card would be fine. Uh, <laughs> so I've been messing about with this sponge, it was quite hairy. I would get six out of this, not six. So and a bookmark. Six and a bookmark. Yay. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? There. Right, okay. So what I'm doing is now, I'll hopefully just put it out a bit so we can see a little bit better. I'm gonna make it a little bit closer later. Right, there's some other pictures. And this is three more. Um I'm not expecting to do it. That's I didn't draw that by the way. That's a rubber stamp, so that's they can be used. That's my own drawing. And um I wanted the hair because there's a special um I don't know if you could let me put the on two minutes because you might be able to see that a bit better. Can you see what I've I'll show you in a minute what I've used to make that? Okay, so that's my little special tool. My husband liked this one. But this one's mainly just <laughs> sharpie so it was quite easy to do that one uh i like the effect let's have a look at this oh this is one of my I, did, I didn't know what to do with this one but this is i do like this one now a lot see all the effects there and i'm not going to always do those effects but because not everybody will have a little tool like me um i have got some separate ones i don't know where they are now but i've got a um one in a, it's like a pen and you can use it for what's it parchment work and it's also got a pricking tool as well, which I think might be useful for other things, not these, <laughs> but for other things. Okay, I've got, I know where that is, it's over there. Anyway, I've used crayons, I've used watercolours, and uh, so this is what I've got my watercolour pad out for, because we're going to have a plate on here. I tell you what might be fun as well, if you've got some of these, and you've got inks or something, those, um, and you can just put water and spread that about, that would be fun. You could do that, because I've done that loads of times. Also, I've got what I'm going to do today. Those use me watercolours, and I'm going to show you how to um, get to uh, do your um, dear. So, cover. <laughs> I don't know any more is going to fall. Right. Okay. So, because I've got a sponge here, and it's been on the floor, and it's collected dog hairs, but I'm still going to use it because uh, probably cat hairs as well. 
it does it does that just and it's a natural sponge from the sea you can smell it you know when you get it wet especially in hot water if you put hot water on that it smells like the sea <laughs> okay so this is what i've got i've got my watercolors which are intense i've got some i think these are purely takey because these are the same as what jody feed's got um I've, I've managed to find a little thing she probably doesn't know about this i've managed to find a little container that fits them perfectly the two inches by one and a bit i think one and a quarter each little thing i think that's perfect for them I even found one the other day in this shop it's a um what sort of shop is it uh, is it being a not the other one? Home bargains in the UK, right? Okay, so what I'm doing is just I'm I'm not um I'm going to divide the paper yet, later because that's what I did. You can divide the paper now. You can divide it into whatever size squares you want to make your um, journaling cards. Okay, so these are four by three um, because that's what uh, Celeste did. Okay, so this is Celeste's idea. Celeste, a crafter's story. You know, she's all <laughs> she makes me laugh. She does. She's so funny. Right. Okay. She's a funny lady. Um, what did she do? Uh, from South Africa, and uh, she's amazing. Okay. She always, always does create. Likes to do creative things. Okay. Ooh, uh. <laughs> so I'm going to have a go at that my way. Okay. This is my way. This is different to what. Um, just putting any colours down. Lot. I just feel like putting green across there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to... Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> she, what you can do is what Celeste did. And I, um, I have done watercolour artists. If, if Celeste's watching, uh, it doesn't matter how much water you put on. <laughs> she put loads of water on her... Um, I don't think it matters. So you could put loads of water on like this, if you like. And um, I'm not a watercolour artist at all. I um, prefer acrylics to paint with. And painting is actually... If anybody doesn't know, painting is different to drawing. Some people say they can paint but can't draw. Celeste says she can draw but not paint, which is, um, I don't know, unless she's not unless she's not talking about, I know she's talking about watercolour. I don't know whether she can. Yeah, so. So I'm putting, what I'm doing is, oh, I'm getting some red on there. That's not actually red, but never mind. I don't know what colours these are, actually, because I've lost my piece of paper. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even, can't even see what colours they are. So that's basically like a rainbow -y order, isn't it? And that's probably, and then I'm going to do some. Oh, yeah, and I, I, I did some circles even on that one I did <laughs> the other day. You know, like we did those watercolour circles, which are gorgeous, aren't they? Um, so let's do a couple of those. They'll be included in some of the cards as well. Um, but I did on that, I did um, um, neutrals, entire neutrals. Yeah, so that's dry paper. You can do it on dry paper, wet paper. Oh, yeah, of course, I've got the sponge here, but I don't know how I'm going to. Let's grab several colours together. I don't know. I'm going to just mess about, you know, like this. I'll grab several colours together like that and punch them on like that. There we go. Yeah, we're just going to do it everywhere, aren't we? That's another way of getting your page wet as well, using a sponge. Um, yeah, mine are too small to... Um... Yeah, like that. <laughs> I might do a couple of pages, actually, because... It's such fun. Yeah, I got this the other day from the art shop. Because I've got a big... I don't know how many's left in this, you know what I mean, when I'm, when I'm at home. I think... Have I actually got any watercolour paper at home? So, well, I've got... They've got sale on and I need it. So I uh, grabbed that. There's some... This is not pressed, so it's... Um, <laughs> it doesn't mean... I don't think it means it's not pressed. I think it means it's... That's the title of it. So it's cold pressed, in other words. Whether that is, I don't know. And hot pressed is um, smooth, but it's more expensive. Yeah. This looks like it's that really um, thingy paper at the moment to me. I don't know if you can see that. I don't think you can. <laughs> but it's got a few hairs on it from the sponge. Yeah, I'm afraid so. Yeah, I need to get myself, I need to get organised, you know. And get myself, um, I could put that in the washer and it might get rid of some of those hairs. Yeah, <laughs> look, it's even falling to pieces. It's, it's big. I did I absolutely use that. Right. Okay, so that might do. Or I can add some more colour in fact let's try that thing i said um with a bit of this probably <laughs> dip it in the water you see that dip, i dip that bush in the water and i'm going to make some dots you can spread it about you know like that yeah you can do all that you know anything like this and it will but i like the idea of having like neutral dots here though the odinil is it that's come off, hasn't it? No, it hasn't. Yeah, you can stretch paper. Uh, I have, in fact, I tried to stretch copy paper in one of my very early videos. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, anything like that. That is very, very pale. I don't want to put some more colour because sometimes I want it. I can do it with this. You know, you can do it with these. If you've only got these, or you want to, you can do it with this. Yeah, you can do a bit of that. Look. 
See, like right that. So that they is. And that's taking on a bit of that as well. Look, 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 look. It's done some like um, flower shapes. Can you see those? Like spreading out a bit. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, let's mess about with a few of those. Let's get that blue. Got a very, look, rinse my brush on, unusual. And I'm getting some blue because I do that. I do tend not to rinse my brush. Use, yeah, that's what it's like. I went to a dentist earlier um, and uh, so I'm going to get after getting an appointment for a year. So that's good, isn't it? So don't go back for a year because I'm looking after my teeth. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, oh, oh, it looks like one of those fields of flowers, doesn't it? Cornflowers there and poppies. Well, let's do some more poppies. Oh, I like that. Cornflowers and poppies, but we're going to cover them over anyway. <laughs> I thought I just had a few poppies though. Lots of cornflowers, yeah, there we go. That's good, isn't it? Doesn't it look amazing? Now you could you could use these, couldn't you? And put stalks on them and that. Let's put a few around the edge here. But I'm not going to do that in all of them, obviously. I've got different ideas. A bit more plainer over there. Let's put some more green. Let's get some bright green. I don't, there's hooker's green. I know that's hooker's green. because <laughs> it's, it's quite memorable, that one. But um, there's oh, racing green, I think, that other one. That... Um, yeah, racing green and a hooker's green, that's it. So you can do all this. And it'd be interesting. I'm going to leave it in a minute and then I'm going to leave it to dry and mess about with another one, eh? And then um, I don't know which one I'll be using on the video. Depends what works out, doesn't it? Hmm. Okay, that's like a turquoise. There we go. Yeah. That's not be it. And more dry. Good and fun. Yeah. I don't know. Right then, obviously, I do enjoy painting and I'm messing about. Oh, take Of course, we've got to show you this. Before we carry on, I must show you this. This is really, really fun. Oh, this is so much. Right, so this, I'm going to rinse my brush so we don't get. Uh, I did. I used this one last time, this dark, dark gold. So I get load on your brush like this. This is what I did. All right, look. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Right, if you've got alcohol inks and things like that. Alcoholic inks. Alcohol inks, I mean. What's alcoholic inks? Oh dear. That sounds a bit drastic, doesn't it? No, this is how you do it, lot. Just get some on your brush and do this. Get some paint. You can do it with white. You can do it with anything. You might get some gouache out and do a bit of white on it as well. I mean, it might even, <laughs> you might not even need any, um, any pen on it. But we'll see, won't we? Right, so I'm going to put some white on it actually as well. So I'm going to see if I can find some gouache or have I got some? No, I've got any white watercolour. I mean, I've got these, but they're not going to. It won't uh, mix with the pet, pet, uh, wet paint a bit. So I don't know how many gouache is, but I've got this I've had for years. It's uh, artists. What you artists use in? Because um, I used to do a bit of that. <laughs> um, graphic design. Uh, graphic design. What's that thing? Graphic no novels. That's it. Yeah, it's got, I, did, I have got a thing, but it's not. See if it works. I don't know. This is a brush I've used before. Well, I don't know if it's going to work in the same way. Oh, yeah, it is a bit, yeah. So it's very, very white. But uh, um, gouache will do it too. Definitely do this. But, um, I'm hoping this will work, actually, because this might be a bit plasticky compared with gouache. Come on, get on there. You can also do it with a... Um, the toothbrush is old toothbrush old make sure it's your old toothbrush <laughs> as well and um it, you can do the bristles underneath and it will spread and spread all the paint out as well so that's a good idea let's see if i can get i might be able to get a bit on with this one yeah dotting it about as well yeah i've let it actually dry on the brush of course like i do but i don't want to put the uniposcas on there actually this could be used as a um white paint afterwards as well yeah i've got another one that's absolutely sealed i cannot get into it but i do that i buy two things because one's gone missing but now i've found them both yeah there we go all right so let's just put a bit of white everywhere okay i think you could paint a white circle yeah there we go started already so i'll just put that one away i don't know why i can't get into the other one it's so annoying <laughs> i don't know if it's too thick as well it might be the old one Okay, let's put a few more. Right, I don't know what that looks like to you because the light's shining on it here. But I'll bring it closer so you can see what it looks like. 
There we go. Yeah, so I find uh, what um, Celeste very inspiring. Okay, she's very good, isn't she? I can imagine it's the sort of thing that will, you know, she ain't got many views now, but when she do, when the when the views will start, she'll get thousands, and people realise what what she's about. I think so. Yeah, I love the way that gold's gone as well. I don't think I've got any more on there. Let's try a different gold. <laughs> and gold map. Right, let's just try different golds. Got, there's all different golds on this set. You can also get metallics in this as well, metallic paint. That's that's a um, white gold. I don't think that's going to do any good, actually. Let's put this one down. Are you getting the brushing? You're getting the brushing <laughs> in the camera. I don't know. Look which side the camera. Where's the camera? Is the camera? Yeah. Yeah, the camera's there, isn't it? Was it? Yeah, it's there. There's the camera there. Yeah. So you get... Um, so if I put that there... <laughs> there we go. Your phone. Right, there we go. Oh no, look at this. This is what you do. Yeah, that's the way you do it if you're doing it with your... Um, not really, oh, you can. You get, it's absolutely all over now, so... It's drying, it's drying. And you can do that with your finger, because you'll probably get it on your fingers. <laughs> yeah, it's not fun, you know. Do you know what annoys me sometimes? <laughs> <laughs> what was I, watching? I was looking at something the other day, you know those um, stamps you can get, and I'm getting a postage one, it's got that massive postcard and you you colour it in and when you put it in, but I thought, it's got kids doing it, I thought, no, no, they're not that, <laughs> why is it always kids? <laughs> well, it can be, <laughs> but um, I like to see, I like, you know, it's nice to have adults, but why should, why should kids have all the fun? Let's have some fun ourselves, as adults. Gran grandmas and... Grandmas, granddads, mothers, fathers. Let's have some fun. Yeah. Well, if you haven't got any kids, even better. Right, there we go. Right, that's it, isn't it? So I'm going to put some... I'm just going to see if I can... Because that one's a bit... I don't leave it on. I don't want to be... I don't know if I, do, I, don't know if I want any. Anyway, that's how it is. I'm going to see that, how that goes. Let me see if I can get that off my brush. Because it's... It's... I don't know what it's made from. Not uh, it, oh it's Japan uh, is that Chinese? I don't know what that is. Uh, oh it's ah I paint watercolor it's watercolor so that's good. I didn't think it was. Yeah it's paint water it says there in German as well. <laughs> was it? Let's see if I can say it. Wasser Farben Farben. That sounds like watercolor to me. Right. Yeah and uh, yeah it's okay. I'm just annoying. I just have right, another thing you can do if you like is mop up your uh, paint if you think it's too much. Like, um, if you like, and just lay some um, wipes if you like. Because um, I know that um, Celeste uses them for paper and things for making a special paper. I've seen the video, but I can't remember what she does, <laughs> so I'd have to look again. Um, but anyway, yeah. So I do recommend Celeste uh, because this is Celeste's idea, really. I mean, this is inspired by Celeste. I'm going to do different things, as you can see. What she did was mask some sites, some um, the cards off. But I'm not doing that. I'm going to just cut them out. It works. Uh, oh, <laughs> well, yeah. So all I did was did some a black. I did some uh, sharpies around the matrimony mainly, and just cut them out with a uh, cutter. Yeah, so managed to do them, you know, managed to do that um that's some creative cutter I've got is magic. Yeah, it's good, it's really good. Yeah. The one I use, yeah, my favourite. Let's see which one of my favourite. We'll just wait for that to dry. And then obviously I think that's one of my favourites because of all the effects I've got on that. That's one of my favourites. Can you see what I've done? I've got I love I love the way that goes around there. That one's a bit boring because so I haven't finished it off. I like that one in a way, especially these. That, I don't know, that's okay. I like the, obviously, I think that needs to be a bit more defined. Um, perhaps I could have done a darker background without doing the patterning on it. It's embossed, that's what it's embossed. This one is as obviously a um, little rubber stamp bird. And I thought to myself, right, I've done it a bit too far facing that way. <laughs> so, hold on, I've got a phone call. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Not a phone call. Right, okay. So what I like about this one is the the way that is. I've done that normally with Sharpie uh, pen, and obviously, oh, yeah, the little birdie. Like I'm going too far facing. I think that way. I didn't. You can't really tell. So I wanted a bit, a bit more that way. But he looks like he was going into, you know, just about to land on a tree. So I drew him a tree. And that's my idea. He's not. He's not trying to. Um, 
he's not being shocked by the tree being there he's going to actually land it's my story so <laughs> i tell it as i like it okay that one is just an completely embossed um one this one's non embossed at all no embossing there oh, unless i tried it did i no i didn't put any embossing on that one this one's embossed i do like the way they look because seen artists i don't know if you've seen any artists do that but i've seen artists do that I hope I've shown you that because I'm looking at this rather than what I'm looking in there. Right, and this one as well, that's completely embossed now. Okay, that looks quite, I quite like the way that looks, although they were drawn before I um, did it. Okay, back to that one again. Okay then, so I'm going to leave it a few minutes now then and uh, just let it dry. <laughs> I've got spots of white all over me now. Okay, so I'm going to just let it dry now, okay. We don't want to put it on seven for now. Right, um... Hopefully you'll be able to see this corner. Right, um, <laughs> right. So these are basically dry. I don't know what I'm doing at all. So um, let's get. The, I might get something out for inspiration. I'm going to show you that pen in a minute as well. Um, yeah, something like that would be great, wouldn't it? Plant something. That. Oh, this. Yes, that's very good. Right. So remember that when you do learn, you just need four basic ideas. It's um, lines, circles, dots and blobs that's that's all you need that's all you need to be able to do so if you can write if you can hold a pen and write i'm sure you'll be able to do those things okay you don't have to do them brilliantly either so i'm going to have a go i'm going to do an, a mandala <laughs> no, i don't fit on the end oh well, let me do you want me to show you that pen first let me show you the embossing pen i'm going to show you the mandala flower in a minute because that's it they're so easy to do right okay so this is the embossing pen it's got a um little blob on the end there can you see that let's just get it on close it, yeah there we go so that's got a little bulb on the end like those um you can get you can get them singular as well because i've got some somewhere but i spotted this yesterday and i've noticed it i got where is it i think it's on the red isn't it it's got a little point thing and i thought if i want to sew some paper <laughs> onto a book i could use this um more easy and that's what i thought i know this is by x cut so you can use these for um, scoreboards and things as well. They come in, is it 1.0, so that's millimetres, I think, 1.5 millimetres and 2 millimetres. I used all of them yesterday, I think. I didn't use the pin, <laughs> but I thought the pin would be great. If you if you if you want to sew something onto paper, I mean, you can get um, pokey tools, can't you, as well? But I, I didn't fancy that. I don't know why. I did something about this I fancied using to use a normal needle and a normal piece of cotton and uh, yeah you know what I mean <laughs> normal needle and normal normal cotton right okay so I'm going to use this first I'm going to do a mandala with this which one yes that one I can't put that on the end unfortunately that's the annoying thing about me is I love it when you can put things on the end mm. <laughs> then you could then you don't lose them right so all you've got to do is do things like this so I'm going to draw a circle here and then I'm going to draw a five petal flower so it's like this so it's like a head two arms and two legs things like that okay and then I'm going to all I'm going to do now is do some stripes on the on the petals okay you can see the color through them which is why we need the so that's interesting or they could you could actually just cut them out and use these as well but <laughs> I do like this idea so I'm going to do now is just leave a gap so I'm going to do a parallel flower sort of thing here and we're using lines that's all it is okay so basically I've used a circle uh, lines everything else is basically lines isn't it now I'm doing some sort of dotty blobs now so I'm doing dotty blobs on there like this and all dotty blobs Okay, I'm going to try and make this um, a video where I'm not going to speak in too fast because I put it on fast and I think sometimes it sounds a bit gabbled. So I'm hoping not to do that. <laughs> I, I, um, I speed my videos up, yeah. But I know some people do put them on fast, which is um, helpful sometimes when you... when you. Uh, so if I'm speaking too slowly for you, just put your, your um, adjust your YouTube setting and um, just put me on a little bit faster. I won't mind. I don't, I don't I don't know I sometimes but I sound like a bit like a chipmunk if you put me on too fast I don't know but it only goes twice as fast All right so that's basically it I'm just doing that and I'm going to do another um parallel 
and I'm copying basically what I've done on that other video, but a bit bigger actually. <laughs> it's massive. Right, and then you can do I'm gonna do some circles around the edges now, yeah, like this. You can do anything like this, you don't have to copy me at all, you can just do what you like. But I'm just doing what I did on that one because my husband said that was his favourite. He likes it because it's nice and sharp. So there you go. I mean I could put these on fast. Um but I thought I'd give you the idea. Anyway, I'm going to show you one with the, my thingy in a bit. Right, so even better. Let's get a thicker line. You can use these. You can use sharpies as well. Don't forget. This is just a pen. I, my sharpies are running out, <laughs> which is why I'm not using them. I've also got a Uni Posca Black, which is amazing as well, and that does really thin lines. Uh, it's a Uni Posca One M, PC One M. Um, so that's what that is. Okay, so what I've done that, and then I've done another line here. Okay, so lines right now. I'm expecting some paper. I've got some card, and I thought it's too thick for the printer, really. <laughs> so I might use it for um, doing some decorations on. Yeah. Hmm. So in this corner here, I've got another flower starting. Um, I'm going to just colour that in black because I can come along with the white a pan. And the Uniposca will do that. Also, I think if you've got any gold there, that would also poke through. I don't know if I have. I think I've got a bit of white. Okay, so that. All I'm doing is that and I'm coming along with some petal effect, some more lines like that, another line here. So basically it's just lines, isn't it, so far? And perhaps that's a blob, I don't know. And um, there we go, and this one, ooh, there we go, look like this. Right, and then I'm just coming along with some lines. Yeah. <laughs> there we go, you know, and I'm going to mess about with them in a minute with my white pen. And then I've got some dots, okay. Oh, lots of dots. That looks a bit like a liney dot, doesn't it, with this pen? Sharpie would be better. Okay, and I can come along here with another mandala. Oh, I did, I know what I did here. I did these. So just some line there, line there, line there, line back. Okay, and uh, yeah, if you do the compass, you just do that first, then you can just fill in the other bits like that. Oh, and I did some joiny things here okay can you see what we're doing here because i know it's in the corner a bit but that's because i'm using the corner of the page let's put it there and here okay and i'm hopefully on one i think just to make sure you can see um okay what am i doing now i'm doing some it's basically blobs inside yeah blobs inside yeah yeah you don't have to sing like that that's what i'm always doing there we go. Well, I was saying, there we go, nice and slow. <laughs> right, so then I think, oh yeah, I was joining these points now. Like this. Yeah, I like that a lot. There we go, so there we go, nice and slow. Just do it nice and slow, and then you'll be winning. And then, oh, I, yeah, if I make them thicker, I can do um, white lines on them. Uh, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you that embossing tool uh, soon, though. I know this is going to be possibly, but I'm just showing you how to do it. So you can make me go on fast if you don't need. Oh, I did a um, a stem here, I'm making it a lot thicker than the one I did on there. <laughs> and putting, I did some leaves because I love doing leaves. Yeah. Yeah, I was talking to. Who was I talking to as well? Uh, I don't like ladies, can't remember her name, I don't know if she said her name, she probably has, <laughs> um, on another channel. And um, yeah, you can do little flowers in the background as well. And she says she comes from Sunderland, I thought she doesn't sound like anything like Sunderland. <laughs> but she probably comes from somewhere, if she if she does, she's got no accent. I mean, I, I've not really, I mean I have, because it, it does come out sometimes. Yeah, my husband's back now, <laughs> he's been to get his magazine. Right, so that one comes out there, and then you can do things like that as well. Um, I'm going to come around there, yeah. Like that. So that's a flower in the background there. And what have we got here? Oh, I did a. Oh, I know what I did for that. Yeah, I did a. I think, but I can do it here instead. I did like a spiky thing on the stem. So I can do that there instead. And the spiky, let's do a spiky leaf as well. It's a leaf there, so that differentiates from those. That makes sense. Differentiate. Is that what we used in is that what we used in maths? <laughs> yeah, we used it. In, um, I'm sure we used it in maths at school. Yeah. So those are those then. Um, these are those, and these are, and you could do little whatevers at the bottom here. 
okay just like this and know the dog's aware of him coming back okay so i just just going to see what he wants and i'll be back at the moment i'm just doing white so in the white pan i'm going to let's see if i can oh, i've got it on two times oh <laughs> i thought it was only on one anyway that's your so i'm going to come along and do these i thought i'd only got it on one time Ooh. There we go, and then I'm going to do what I'm going to do now is do some little dots down here. See, this is a 1M. You got any thicker ones? I don't, yeah, they still do it actually. I have got a thicker one, and I've actually got, don't get I wouldn't get the really thin ones, the one that are 1MR. I don't get those, they're really thin, and they probably don't get much ink in them. Right, all I'm doing now is, yeah, I'm doing little dots down here as well. Yeah, little dots. <laughs> You can sing along to yourself and uh, enjoy yourself, yeah. Like, nobody's listening, if you like. There's no reason why you can't. <laughs> Even if somebody is listening. <laughs> they'll tell you, shut up. Oh, shut up. <laughs> What's all this singing about? <laughs> right, so I'm going to... Um, let's make that line a bit thicker because I've got um, some, done some dots around there. And I'm going to do some more dots in a minute, yeah. So I'll just make that a little bit thicker like that. Thicker than you. That's thick. You can even sing that. Right, there we go. So that's what I'm doing. So I'm doing this. I'm doing some little dots. I'm just doing two dots every time I come to one of those little pointy things. And those little gnomey hats. <laughs> there we go. And, oh, I'm not doing... I'm, I've gone around the edge of that in white, but I don't know. Let's, let's go all the way around the edge in white on this one. So I'm making a... See, I'm not doing it perfectly. None of it's perfect. It's just fun. And if you look at other people's drawings as well... They're not perfect either, and they're professional. Hmm. So, I think that's what it is. I think at the moment we're really doing going for the handmade, homemade look, aren't we? Okay, I'm not doing that. I mean, I like the other way as well. I like the um, the neat ones as well, like the uh, Septeria 18 things. Oh, there's my... Yeah, I'm going out with the DOG in a minute. So I'm going to probably finish this off later. <laughs> Right, okay, so that's basically your, um, right, before we do anything else, before the shout me, let's just show you, because I'm going to show you on here. Right, let's get the two, 2.0, 2 it's a two millimetre, that's that size, that's the big one. Can you see, I don't know if it's in focus, can't tell, is that in focus now? You probably told me to focus, get, move away to be in focus, right, so I'm going to go around there, so this is embossing pan, and I'm doing it in a spiral now. Wait a minute, Nico, we're going out in a minute. He knows, he knows Alex has come back, so we're going to take the dog out. Shall we use, let's use this one. This is magenta. So what you do then is just colour over it. You can see the watercolour and the gold through it. And that leaves the spiral there. I don't know if you can colour with, um, oh God, this is, these are quite strong. These are Faber-Castell uh, watercolour cranes, but I'm not using them as watercolour because it would flood the whole thing. So I'll just show you that close up. Hold on, <laughs> everything's falling. Where are we there, lot? Yeah, so that's that close up, what I've just done with that. And I'm going to do it on that one as well. Okay, so I'm doing it with the same pair. Let's do a spiral again. Wait a minute, Nico. <laughs> He's excited. Oh, mm. okay, Alex knows what I'm doing. Right, okay, and um, let's have a green. This one is was intense. Told you, do the knock at the door. Right, okay, so that's your. So Alex is ready to go, so come straight from his walk and he's come for another walk so that's that one as well so i've done that one in green so you can do this you can do anything like this and i thought i'd give you a bit of a demo so i'm going to do a little bit more down i think behind the flowers and perhaps we're going to do that in a different color when i come back and then i'm also going to fill in the leaves as well okay yeah just just this minute come back so if my breath that's why <laughs> right okay so where's the ah right so let's do a small one for this right that's the pin so that's the one point that's the millimeter I'm going to do, how about some scribbles? So I'm going to do, just, just do some scribbles down here. Yeah, that's probably another one, isn't it? Scribbles, but um, I think they're controlled scribbles, aren't they? So I think I'm going to find a blue to put on there to represent the sky and whatever's behind it. Yeah, let's do that. And then I'm going to put some white on the... Right, let's see if I can keep my arm out your way. Um, that's blue. What's that? Oh, is that a lighter blue? Yeah, that's dark aquamarine. Looks supposed to be light blue. I don't know. <laughs> it's got a light blue end. 
Uh, let's have a go with this. I'm not sure where the rest of these are, you know. I keep quite a few of them in my thing over there. Yeah, see, it's making amazing little. I don't think, I'll show you close up in a minute. Because you might want to see what I've done. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks great. I didn't do that on the other one. I did what I did with the other one. I just coloured round with the sharp. It was a sharpie I was using. I decided they're not brilliant, so. So I'm going to use that. Okay, so if you've got any tools like that, the little tools with those little things at the end that you can use for scoring or, or uh, parchment. Let's do some scribbling up there and a bit there. Uh, yep, there. And a bit there. I'm just using finding the little bits where I've not. Otherwise it's going to look a bit... Yeah. Whatever that means. Right, so a little bit up there. Whoa. I tried this before with a pencil because it was recommended by uh, an illustrator because I was doing fairy pictures. <laughs> yeah, I fancied myself as a fairy artist. So what I did was um, some of those as well. I'm just going to shake them because it's sometimes yeah, these, you have to shake these a lot. Don't press the thing down as much as you shake them because it will flood. Right, so what I'm going to do now is just do a line. See, line, 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 line. That's all you're doing basically lines blobs and i'm doing that's why even those scribbles are really lines aren't they so basically yeah there we go so that one's that one i'll show you close up then um where's the other one am i going to do some i might do some white round there as well because that looks a bit yeah oh another thing i did let me show you in a minute i don't think i showed you that exactly you can see the where i've scribbled here yeah uh, it's fun you know to do that just scribble yeah it makes a lovely effect Oh, that's what I did for that that uh, that card and all around the, these as well. That's all I did around there. And then I put a little bit of light brown around it. Right, where's the one I'm looking for? I can't remember which one I'm looking for now. What did I say? Let's see if I can... <laughs> Wait a minute, let's have a look. Not that one. Um, not that one. No, that's one I did. That, that's, good. that's actually purple or something around the edge. Was I thinking of that? No. There's something I was going to... Oh, there's some, yeah. That was it. Right, so you can actually have it. This is what I did for this one. Put some more watercolours on. I left some of it like that. and just added some more well, actually that way around. don't think it matters, actually, which way around it. <laughs> Apart from I always have the stars with the point facing upward. Yeah, so I've done little crosses and X's, X's and O's there. Um, and there little brick things there. And that's all I've done. I've done, you know, that sort of thing. So I could actually add... And you can do it with these as well. You can do it with your watercolour crayons if you like just dip them in yeah dip them in yeah and experiment and then just add a bit more color there we go like that so you can do that with the, with your watercolor paints you could also obviously do these with um watercolor um paints as well but i might oh, where's my brush i didn't even know where my brushes are so that one's added sort of something to that now and i'm going to come along with this and do some white around places so I'm just showing you, I'm giving you a bit of a guided tour of the, um, I've got to do some, oh I can do some colour wheel videos as well that I promised, but um, yeah, it should, what's happening here, it's not colouring in, why isn't it colouring in, it should be well and truly dry, so what I'm doing then is dotting instead, just to get a bit of white on there like that. Can we see that? Because obviously, I can't even see if you can see because obviously it's... Right, so I'm just getting some white round there. And I'm not touching that because I've done that. And I can get some white on the edge. In between a little bit as well. You don't have to... Yes, you can leave the colours alone. Mm, yes, of course. Well, that has, hasn't it? That gold does show through if you colour over it quite often because it's... Um, is it? No, it is watercolour. It's watercolour as well, but it still shows through. You look close up, it has shown through. I could do some. What did I say I was going to do? See, over that, because it's a bit darker, I can do some lines. Mm -hmm. There we go. So, oh, let's, don't forget this flower here. So I could do some. You probably haven't forgotten, I had. <laughs> and I'm going to put some colour actually on it. Let's have a look what we got. We got a dark blue. What have we got here? We've got this one up with peacock blue. That looks a lot. Of, that looks a brilliant one to me. I'm using it like a paintbrush and dipping it in. And um, yep. Oh no, was that? Did I, yes, I did. I think didn't I? 
Uh, so yeah, let's do that one as well. It should come. And all they're doing is scribbling it in. I mean, you can. Um, oh, I've lost my little um, thing there. So let's see if I can put it back in. I lost a little line I put there. So I'll put that back in in white instead. There we go. And I'm going to give it a halo. <laughs> there you go. Got an angel, angelic little plant. Okay, so I'm just messing about now. That's got leaves. I can. I can. Um, you can always do that. You can. Oh, uh, and yeah, some of them do look nice with halos, actually. I've done that before on uh, pictures. Oh, that's got um, thingy. So, actually, that. Yeah, let's do that. Even though it's got watercolour behind, it's making it really nice. I won't do it with that one because that one's a. But that one. You can see that. So, I'm basically just doing this one, aren't I? Because I've shown you everything so things you can use um obviously you can use other color uniposca colors i've got plenty and um you don't have to use sharpies you can use um different ones because watercolor is easy to walk to um draw on with different pens so okay it is nice with a bit of metallic as i've done you can use metallic pens no problem there and uh, that's a good idea metallic pens would look amazing on there not that i've got any Yep, so I haven't really got any metallic pens. Oh, I, ha I have, but I've, I've put them all in a bucket somewhere. <laughs> I'm using them for, what's this one? Is this a silver? Metallic colour? I think this is silver. Yeah, so I have got metallic pens. Huh? Mm. So I've put a little few dots on here in silver, whatever this is. There we go, yeah. So that will come up. So we've got alcoholic uh, sprays and things. They, they'll work, won't they? Because that's what Celeste was using as uh, some sort of spray. I haven't got any of those. But anyway, how about that? Oh, so I've just I've just demonstrated how to draw mandala flowers. I mean, you can obviously mess about and do um, zentangly type things. Right, so this one, I'm going to might put a on this one. Let's get it onto one. On this one, I'm going to possibly put a mandala there, which I think would finish that off. That looks like a school building to me. <laughs> You can see that it looks like windows and things. All these lines and scrapes with the, and that one is just scri scribbles, scribbles and things, and the heart shape there with um, two double circles. Rubber stamps is a good thing you can use if you can't draw as well. You can also colour them in. Just be very gentle, then you won't go over the lines. To hide them, that's by uh, that is a permanent. Um, it's one of those cheap ones actually I got with a, a printing set <laughs> but it's uh, you can use archival ink and things like that that will actually um, do that and that one again with the um, hair and the swirls there okay so that's what I like to draw faces I'd be, I mean I'd have to copy a uh, that bird for example I couldn't copy that's not copied that face that's just a, straight out of my head <laughs> But anyway, that is, um, I love that one because of the effect, and I've seen artists do that. That's what's impressed me. So I've impressed myself by doing what artists do. So all it is is a Sharpie. I've drawn it with a Sharpie, coloured the leaves in. So basically it blobs at the end of, of lines. And then I've gone along with the, um, I think this is probably the thin one, and scribbled it. And then coloured it with light brown. So, mm, yeah, yeah. And that's just blacks and whites things and mandala idea you know messing about you could do mandala then leaves and things and anything like that that back of there oh yeah oh no wait a minute how come I've, oh that's another one i can do a mandala on then yeah oh it's two then and that one is complete that one is um just embossed and i've done a little bit of embossing on here as well not that you can see very well but i have put a little bit of embossing on that as well so that's in that that adds interest so if you've got anything like this as well, they would do it. But you'd want the thinner one. I can't say I bent that one. That's been because that pen's a lot, seems a lot better. So X cut. Right, and I think I've broken that one. Oh no, that one. So I've got things like that. Yeah, so they were. And then obviously I've got things like that, which are massive. The flower making. Yeah, well, a, ooh, I wonder where that knife was. <laughs> there we go, then, where the knife is now. Well, I do hope you like this one. I've rounded the corners as well, which looks, I think, looks really nice. And you can also ink them up around the edges, which would also look very nice. Because sometimes you've got that white edge there, haven't you? Look, I've got cottony bits and all sorts. Right, so just wipe that up. Yeah, see, that's gone now. 
and that's what Celeste was doing as well. She's she's doing around the edges with her incorrupt uh, printer. Yeah. Oh, on the back, I've just left plain at the moment. I, I think I've just put I can just put um, lines on it rather than um, putting anything else on it. Um, you can stain it if you like with um, things like this as well. Yeah, just do that around the edge, and that's slightly okay like that. And then I've got some stencils that I can put some. I've also sent for the set of um, lining things that Miss Celeste got, but it costs a lot more in this country. It does over there, you know, because she lives in um, Washington State, I think. OK, so <laughs> even though she's from South Africa. So that's the. Um... There we go. So that's brilliant, isn't it? Some reason I've got an itch, sorry. <laughs> right, okay, so I don't want to go as usual, but I do want to say uh, please give me a thumbs up if you appreciate what I've done for you today. And I do appreciate you as well if you give me a, a, a subscribe to my channel. That is amazing. I, I really do appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> and also I've got stuff on uh, Kofi, free papers. Actually, they look a bit like that, don't they? <laughs> um, I've got some free papers on Kofi. Um, I've got, yeah, some like, some are a bit like that, actually. Yeah, sort of like a whole couple of sheets of painting. Yeah, and then I've got um, the watercolour circles on there, all of it. Every all, every four corners, I've only got that size paper there. I can't do 12 by 12s. And what's the other one I've got on there? Oh, and I've put my, um, the one I use a lot for collaging on there as well. Um, that green and oranges, greens and oranges. Uh, well, sort of like, a um, bit like this really, but different patterns. So I've got all that uh, free on Kofi as well. Um, so you can, if you don't look for the link on my description, it's, you should have a link to Kofi permanently on there uh, from um, recently. <laughs> so I'll try and add it to other ones as well, actually. I might add it to other videos because people might want to um, have my papers. And I've also got lots of papers on um, my Facebook page, but um, they just disappear after a bit and that did annoy me. So anyway, if you did want to go on there that would be amazing i'm thinking about doing a shop but i don't know <laughs> put things in the, in the shop there as well okay um so i will say goodbye now <laughs> goodbye thank you